Ooh, man. So, Lauren Hill, your reputation has caught up to you and you caused the Fuji's the reunion tour. She's blaming the, the headlines and clip base and those things because the Fuji's reunion tour was canceled by Live Nation due to low ticket sales. That's caused Lauren Hill to come out and chastise these folks. So we're going to talk about that, uh, but let's walk y'all towards this point, man. So uh, shout out to Philip Lewis, always on point with everything. So he posted this saying Lauren Hill and the Fuji's 2024 tour has quietly been canceled three days before the first day. Damn. So... DJ Vlad says, I spoke to someone close to the situation and found out why the Lauryn Hill and Fuji's Miseducation tour was canceled three days prior to their first show. It's not because of Lauryn, like many people are speculating. The tour dates simply didn't sell enough pre-sale tickets, so Live Nation pulled the plug on the 21 dates that were scheduled. Now, Bomani Jones says, that shit was canceled as soon as they announced it. Your dumb ass didn't buy tickets, did you? Did your dumb ass buy tickets? All right, so the fans in this shit, is, they, they saying a lot. I learned my lesson when she showed up five hours late to one music fest in Atlanta and didn't perform any of her music. Love her, but I'm going to keep my coins. Lauren actually meant to do this days ago, but she was late. Yeah. Um, I learned my lesson the first time they announced the tour, bought tickets, canceled, never believe in the hype again. At this point, you just like throwing away money if you buy a ticket to a show. Remember when they tried to say Glasper was lying about her? She can't keep getting away with this. People who don't care enough for goers to never show up on time don't deserve my dime. So I never attempted to buy these tickets. They are legends, but we already know something was going to happen. So you, you see the overall consensus. Like, this is a back-to-back. -back. Y'all seeing me. I'm not editing shit. Y'all see how the people talking. Let's get to what Lauren got to say. So Miss Lauren Hill says, with difficulty, the decision was made to pull down our upcoming North American tour date. The shows in the UK and Europe are moving forward as planned. Last year, I faced an injury that necessitated the rescheduling of my shows. Regrettably, some of media's outlets penchant for sensationalism and clickbait headlines have seemingly created a narrative that has affected ticket sales for the North American portion of the tour. The trust and faith I have in my intentions and my commitment to my art seem to have been overshadowed by this unfortunate portrayal. The audience in the UK and Europe not only haven't seen the Miss Education anniversary performance yet, they also haven't seen the Fuji's perform together in over 25 years. Performing for my fans is a profound exchange of energy and emotion that excites me every time. Every show is a piece of my expression and testament to our connection and shared love for music. I can assure you that no one is more disappointed about not being able to perform than I am. Know that I'm not only grateful for those who appreciate and support my art, but that I fight and push through all kinds of resistance to put together experiences that mean something for all of us. I love being able to bring these performances to you. I appreciate your understanding. We're looking forward to performing at the shows in the UK and in Europe in October. And for our friends in North America, when these unforeseen circumstances are resolved, we'll be back in full force with love respect and honesty miss lauren hill all right lauren i mean everybody want to see the Fuji's. everybody want to, man that, that lady is talented that lady's voice is crazy like it just always seems to be something and you may want to go ahead and blame it blame it on and you know blame it on the blogs but the fans have the ability to come out and post in live in real time what's going on at your shows so it's not just the blogs the fans create a narrative and sometimes the blogs report on what the fans are experiencing so you can't just place on the blogs they're not like why is this only happening to you I'm not saying it's only happened to you but why is it happening to you so often hopefully this is an eye-opener to you that you know although you have the currency in our hearts and in our minds from forgiving us that amazing project that you still gotta respect people's time especially your age group those fans they need babysitters and shit they got work the next day. Like these are important things and you being late to your performances, throw those things off. Lauren Hill, baby girl, you could never get my money. Ever, ever, ever again. And I'm gonna say why. Because I have spent my hard earned money in the past to go see Lauren Hill and Lauren Hill has kept me waiting more than an hour, almost two hours, so much so to the point that I have gotten up and walked out. 
And if you are an old school uh, Lauren Hill fan, Sister Act 2, Miss Education of Lauren Hill, then you know. Lauren Hill don't ever have to make another CD ever in her life because she can eat alone off of Miss Education. If you know, you know, right? Well, this has been one of her flaws for many years and this past weekend she took the time to address her lateness okay and she had the audacity to tell her fan base that we should be lucky that she even comes out on the stage at all now i don't know about you but me respect my time please and if i spend my hard-earned money for a concert ticket get dolled up to come see you Respect my time. Really, Lauren? Your fans should be lucky that you come out at all? Let me chin check you real quick, baby girl. If it wasn't for the fans, you wouldn't have not one concert. Okay? And you better be careful. Because your next concert, you might come out and do a sound check and that's all you got in, 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 in the uh, audience. I think it's highly disrespectful to tell your fan base, the, your fans, the people who have loved and supported you for years, that they should be lucky. No, you should be lucky that after the 90s, you still have a thriving fan base that want to even come and support you. Because for real, for real, when you get out on the stage and do your songs, I don't I don't want to hear the, the reggae version of whatever or the, the, the remix of this. I want to hear the songs the way they sound like on, on the record truth be told and and, and and do do better just do better let me know what y'all think we are leaving the lord hill concert and it's not even over yet it's not even over yet here is our review what did you think best part was nas a little way <laughs> literally the best part oh by the way the concert was supposed to start at 7 30 and it didn't actually start until 10 two and a half hours later ah luckily we were late there was a fucking traffic jam here and it was too much but would i recommend you coming stick to the album what do you think <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> absolutely fucking not don't waste your money parking's expensive as fuck a hundred fucking dollars on Ex top of whatever you paid for your expensive tickets. as fuck <laughs> and uh she didn't even sing all that great i couldn't even understand half the words she was saying she should have sang the whole time a cappella, but she didn't. Um, so yeah, I just wouldn't recommend you spend your hard-earned money to come. What do you think, Alita? Same. Same? Same. Yeah, wouldn't recommend. But do I love her still? Yes. Would I prefer to just listen to her in the car? I'm about to turn that shit on. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, that thing, that thing. Have my own fucking concert in the car, bitch. Okay, y'all. Yeah. I just got back from the Lauren Hill slash Fuji's concert and there are five things that you need to know if you're going to go to the concert or if you're just wondering about it. Number one, it's going to start late. And when I say late, I mean late. So this concert was supposed to start at 730. The DJ who opened for her didn't start until 907. Okay. Then she was abruptly stopped by literally pulling out her uh, plugs by 9.44. Miss Lauren Hill started at 9.45 and the Fugees didn't come out until 11.15. So plan on getting back at least after midnight. It was awesome though, but just plan on it. Number two. If you think you're going to be singing along with Miss Lauren Hill, you are not. You are sorely mistaken. You may know every single song, every single melody, every single lyric, but just know that when she sings it, it is not going to be the same song that you know. She's going to be behind the beat and she's going to sing it whatever note that she feels like it. But it always sounds amazing when she does it. I don't know how she does it, but you're not singing along, so don't try to. Number three, the Fugees have a lot of songs. I thought I knew a lot of Fuji songs. Uh, apparently I don't. Um, I knew about five of the songs. The first half, I didn't know a single song and I was like, whose concert am I sitting at right now? 
So they did sing the bangers. They sang them after they sang all the other songs. But yeah, they definitely have quite the, the catalog that I wasn't even aware of. Four. Now Wyclef, he could still rock a party, y'all. He had the crowd going the whole time. He was just singing and up there just doing his thing. He was on his guitar, on his bass. At one point, he even went out into the crowd and was just rocking it from off the stage. And people were really just loving it. So he still got it, y'all. And five. Lauren Hill still sounds amazing. Her voice is incredible. She looked great. The Fugees looked amazing. They still got it. So hopefully we'll see a lot more from them soon. Okay, y'all. Peace out. Let's see what people are saying in response to her saying what she's saying, man. Let's look at the comments in this, in this over here. So, uh, Lauren, with all due respect, your pension for showing up to these shows late affected the ticket sales of the North American portion of the tour. Don't blame the media. It's given just retire and ride off to the sunset. We will be fine. Cancel last minute is very on brand for her. Okay, girl, bye. Over 26 years of bad attendance for one album. She is not a legend to me. She's a legend. Sometimes you only need one album. That one album, boy, still relevant. Still relevant. The lyrics still relevant. Um, Lord, Miss Lauren, loving you is like a battle. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> it could be also. It could be. Uh, it could all be so simple. Would you rather make it hard? Hey, facts, man. Facts. Uh, these people funny. Girl, bye. Not with the epilogue verbiage. Just to say you ain't touring because no one is interested in nothing to buy tickets. Not because the media, because but because you're delayed late ass to life. Sit somewhere, Lauren, and open a blog spot. They better off hosting a Zoom concert. <laughs> Created a narrative. Lauren, honey, I spent my good money to see you and you were one and a half hours late and performed for barely 30 minutes. Take some accountability, sis. But she didn't really piss me off, okay? That's the majority of you, but everyone's saying. They tired of your shit. They are tired of your shit, Miss Lauren. My Gemini is always got some bullshit going on on social media, you feel me? I'm not really into I'm not really into Zodiacs and stuff like that, but I do like flaming gangs. <laughs> if I get a chance to claim a gang, I'm going to rep my set. That's my set, so it is what it is. But hey, what do you think? Let me know what you got to say in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.